Chicago sports fan is a different animal. And right now, the enforcer faithful are thirsting for a victory here today at historic Soldier Field. It's the XFL on TNN, the national network in the Windy City today as the three and one top Las Vegas Outlaws take on the tough luck Chicago Enforcers. Please welcome your Chicago Enforcers. Started off with the mad scramble, and for that, let's go down to our mad man, Lee Rearman. Lee, take it away. All right, Chicago, you know the rules. There ain't no rules. Two men enter, one man leaves for the visiting Las Vegas Outlaws. That's right. He's a safety. He's 4 0, and he says, Chicago's the Windy City because all Chicagoans blow. Number 28, Jamel Williams. And for your Chicago Enforcers, he's a wide receiver. This is his first crack at the scramble. He says, I like to scramble because it gets me loose, and I like to scramble because I hope it gets me chicks. Number 87, Roel Preston. Are you ready to scramble? Yeah, man, do your stuff. All right, gentlemen, the person that recovers the ball gets a choice of deferring, kicking, receiving, and it also goes into overtime. I'm going to say, set, when I blow the whistle, you need to go, don't false start, go right to the ball. Set. Jamel did it again. He's now 5 and 0. Although he was beaten to the ball, he responded quicker to get it, and Las Vegas will get the option. They will be kicking. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the XFL on TNN. Craig Benavini with Big Bob Golick. Well, the Chicago Enforcers, they've been very good on offense at times. They've been very good at defense at times, but they haven't figured out, Bob, how to win yet. They'll try to do it today. They're certainly led by one of the most exciting players in the XFL. He's back this week, John Avery. John Avery, you're exactly right. John Avery one of the most complete backs you're going to find in the XFL. He runs the ball. He can catch the ball. And I'll tell you what, if he had a little bit of a more of a supporting cast with him, this offense could start to get off and start to make some things happen. Back with a five bruise. Missed last week. He's about 90%. Kevin McDougal will take the snaps for the first time as the starter for Ron Meyer. Why the change? Well, they're going to look for something to kind of spark things a little bit. You see it a lot with quarterbacks. One guy ain't working. A lot of times it's not just about talent. Sometimes it's just, hey, let's start fresh with somebody new. This guy's got a pretty strong arm. Looks for them to throw it deep down the field. Bob's excited because they're both at a Notre Dame. So we'll see how go. Kevin does. But I'll tell you what, his problem today, Bob, is going to be the opposing Las Vegas defense. Let me tell you then, these guys come. I want to play on this defense. These guys come and make things happen. They have forced 13 turnovers so wow. far this year. It's averaging about three per game. So that's a defensive opportunity. Their leader is also a newcomer, Mark Grieva. Masters student over at Stanford a week and a half ago. Great numbers in Arena League with all the injuries. Coach Jim Kreider called on this guy. You know, without, a, without that, he came in, had a great game last week. Ryan Clement, the original starter for the Vegas Outlaws, also back. He's healthy and ready to go. These two guys, we talked to them both yesterday. Both great guys and both saying, hey, we're all waiting our turn. Whoever shot is it, they'll the one that go throw the ball. New big rule change in the XFL. For more on that, Kip Lewis. 
Well, guys, there is no bump and run rule anymore in the XFL. Previously, defensive backs were allowed to hit the receivers anywhere down the field as long as they did it from the front or from the side. The new rule, it's a five-yard rule just like the NFL. That means the defensive backs can only hit the receivers within five yards of the line of scrimmage. This should open up the passing game for all the teams in the league. I had a chance to talk to a couple of players about the new rule change. Um, for us, you know, we're just going to go out there and do what we've been doing all year. Um, I think the one thing, people want to see more offense, offense, sell tickets, dig that. But uh, for us, we're going to keep it P.I., you know what I'm saying? It's in our demeanor, and we're just going to do what we got to do. Brandon Sanders, Sanders, one of the counterparts uh, on, on today's field, said that it's not going to matter. What do you think? Well, I mean, if that's how it feels, we just have to see wait, wait till we get on the field because if he feels like it's not going to matter, it is going to matter because I saw him a lot of times hitting guys 15 yards down the field. Now, if he wouldn't hit those guys 15 yards down the field, they would have scored a touchdown on him. There's Ron Meyer, the head coach of the Enforcers. What kind of effect do you think the new rule will have, Bob? Well, I think uh, last night, watching a couple of games last night, we saw a lot more scoring. Uh, perhaps it had something to do with the uh, no bump and run. Perhaps it was just their night to score some points. But last night, definitely uh, an indicator that there may be more points scored. For Jim Kreiner's team, Paul McCallum will kick off. Vegas electing the kickoff, and they'll get to receive to start the second half. And the option for the overtime, and here we go, as Ivy brings it out for Chicago. That was... <laughs> Back out to the, about the 29-yard line. Was McDougal coming in here, the quarterback for the Chicago Enforcers. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Like I said, he's a guy at Notre, Notre Dame, a little bit taller. Two, half right, four belly on one, ready? A little bit stronger arm, but they'll probably try and start the game off with a running attack. Why not start with John Avery? Balmy, Windy City, 30 degrees, but... Much nicer than a week ago when they had a driving rainstorm in cold conditions. John Avery to start it off for a couple of yards. Hey, somebody, somebody better go tap that thermometer a couple of times. This ain't 30 degrees. <laughs> well, with the wind chill off of Lake Michigan, you never realize how tough the media guys have it in this cold weather. Oh, oh, kidding. At least you guys got to bounce around on the field. Wide left, nine calls on two. Ready? Las Vegas defense has given up just 24 points in the first four Let's games. Go. It's unbelievable Ready, go, with that very tough Blue, front 22. four up front. Blue, 24. And the Set. hobbling Set. offensive line for Set. Chicago, big key today, certainly. Toss left to John Avery again. Oh, nice. Yes. And Joey to a follow on a couple of sacks last week. With the big hit on John Avery. Well, they're trying to establish something with Avery right off the bat. He's their workhorse. He's the guy they can get him 25 handoffs. He's going to get uh, at least establish a rhythm, try and get the ball moved down the field. They don't want to put too much on their doodle right away. Enforcers have not scored a touchdown in the last two weeks. That's one of the reasons Rod Meyer decided to go with Kevin McDougal in favor. Plus, remember this, Avery did not play last week yep. with the injury, so he's kind of coming back off that, too. It's Avery again, third straight play, broke one tackle, but he can't do it on a one-man gang. He did get three, but again, a punting situation Damn, for what? Chicago to start it off. We talked about that Vegas defense being strong in the middle. Looked like Avery, they're trying to attack with Avery to the outside, string him on a little bit. Proof of one thing for that Vegas defense, they flow pretty well, too. These guys are moving down the field, not giving them any kind of cutback lanes. The best defense in the league by far so far, including a... 13 sacks up front. Andy Crossland will do the punting. Here comes Yo Murphy is back deep with Jamel Williams for the Outlaws, the lefty punter. It's Murphy fumbling the ball, but he regained possession at the 38. Now, courtesy of Bush Beer, let's take a look at last night's XFL action. In the shadow of New York City, the Los Angeles Extreme visit the New York Hitman. Maddox play action, gets it away, touchdown. Wally back to throw, looking for the end zone, got him, ball is caught, touchdown. touchdown. Maddox looking to throw, into the end zone, Copeland, touchdown. The XFL's found another star tonight, folks. Barnes looking to throw it, got a man wide open, touchdown San Francisco. Robertson again. Barnes oh, play action, oh. keeps it himself, drops it into the end zone, touchdown Demons! Birmingham being beaten like a drum. 
Mark Grieb is in at quarterback to start it off for the Outlaws. Good job, good job, good job. Call it, call it, call it. Okay, here we go. Come on, come on. Here we go. Let's go, let's go. Double left, 99 pitch on one. On one. Right. Grieb made his debut last week after having the offense for just three days in practice. Much 53. more aware of the offense. And Jim Connors had a more plays too, Bob, this week for Mark Grieb. Three, five, Here's E. Hayley coming off his best game. And Rod Smart finds some room to get up near midfield before Hubert Thompson brought down He Hate Me, and they do here in Chicago, flag down to the play. Well, one of the things they had going that time, they ran a, they ran a toss or a pitch just like Chicago did, but they did a nice job of uh, getting and blocking the guys downfield. Bob, English professors and stu what? teachers are cringing all over America because he's gone from the jersey now to the crowd. We hate him. What do you think he is? I, I, I love Rod Smart. <laughs> he hit me. He hit me. Kind of Personal a foul. Irritating. 75 offense. Penalty's 15 yards. Into the run. Down remains one. Well, this, this is a tough one for him right off the bat. Affects our field position. Puts the pressure more on Mark Reed. Coming to you. Come on, Pitt. So the personal foul knocks him back. And it'll be first and Set. 25. Green looking to pass over the middle. Oh, nice pass to Nakia Jenkins. And Bob, that's one thing that Green does very well. Looked at his main receiver, didn't Clark. see it. Goes over the middle for a second again. And he's got good points, too. Did you see what he's doing? He, he didn't even stand back there five, six, five, six, seven steps. He was three steps back. Trips right, 817, throw back Dallas on one. On one. Right. By the way, they called the penalty early on 75 offenses. There is no one wearing that uniform on Vegas. Might have been on Blackman 74. Play action grief. Fake the EAB in trouble and it's blocked and knocked down. Hubert Thompson, a nose tackle, made the big defensive play. And the enforcers are going to need that kind of play today. No doubt about it. Their defense is going to have to step up and take the ball out of this. This Las Vegas uh, this is offense, but well, watch what happens here. There we go. Good pressure. This actually looked like it was going to get the play they used last week for the touchdown. Good pressure in the end on the outside, and uh, Hubert Thompson right up the middle making the, making the play on the ball. So a big third down and six down for Vegas on the year 27% on third down. Somebody jumped the gun. I didn't see any flags, though. Grieve and drop it! Oh, stolen! It. Take it away! It's Aaron Humphrey! Humphrey. Yeah. Humphrey's got it! There is a flag down in the play, however. As Humphrey goes in, I'm not sure if they were in the neutral zone or not. We'll see. It might be coming back, but could be on the offense as well. well. The one guy at the snap of the ball, at the snap of the ball, the right defensive end was across the neutral zone. I don't know if he was drawn on, drawn off sides. In motion, what was up? We'll have to wait to hear from the Seven off sides. Five yards. Play it. Penalty revert. in the first down. Well, that is typical Chicago. That's oh. it right there in a nutshell. Watch here. You can see top of your screen. Right underneath the 50. Right there. Easy to spot. Jumps offside a little early. Sometimes, sometimes those guys are drawn offside, but that was all defense. Jason Churik. Was in the neutral zone at the snap of the ball. Aaron Humphrey would be having to talk with him afterwards. That's the kind of tough break Chicago. It's been happening all year. Three, four. Three, four. Washington, Churik. So instead of a touchdown, Three, eight, five, not only did they get the penalty, Three, eight, five, hold, but it's a first down. Reeve to he hate me. He hate me running right. Down to the 26. The only hype behind him is the fact that he has he hate me on his jersey, which is embarrassing to me and embarrassing to the league, I think. Catchy, some say. It is catchy if uh, you're illiterate. So Aaron Humphrey, nice. who thought he had a catchy play here, now has to deal with he hate me and the marching uh, outlaws of Las Vegas again. But that's how it's going for Chicago, a play like that. Yeah, Humphrey was tired from running that ball back, got caught in a block on that last play, got burned big time. Unbelievable. Reeve again passing. The dump to, he hate me. And he's tripped up by Ray Austin, the strong safety, after a gain of a couple. I think it's safe to say this isn't one of the most potent offenses yet. 
devised in the XFL, this Las Vegas offense. You know, they're finding a way to get things on track. Hopefully, Grieve will be doing this. We saw a lot of advancement last week. Rod Smart moving the ball well, pretty well on the ground against San Francisco. Maybe this is the week they get it together offensively. Very safe, Bob. They're ranked eighth among the 18. So I think you pretty safe. don't have to go on that okay. land. Yes. He hate me. He's got the handoff. This time, he's moving to the left, and he's taken down. Picked up a couple Aaron Humphrey. Aaron Humphrey made the stop and had a couple of things to say. <laughs> He's still angry. He's playing mad because he didn't get that touchdown. Aaron says, now I've given up 10 grand. Not getting the bonus money, $100,000 to the team. You can see Humphrey right there. Nobody touched him. Hello, Rod. Aaron Humphrey, nice to meet you. Right, right. Humphrey's been moved all around. Linebacker. D line now back to linebacker for Rob Meyer. Third and three. Play action, passing is Joe Murphy, and he squeaks free. Yo Murphy is going to get into the end zone for the touchdown. The newcomer, Yo Murphy. They thought they might have had him on the line. Touchdown, Las Vegas. The guy who played for Kreiner. In NFL Europe was the MVP a few years back of the World Bowl. 19-yard touchdown. And look at the change where Chicago thought they might have had six. Instead, they give up six. Exactly. And Murphy, uh, you don't know what to expect from this guy. First off, coming in, told us yesterday, man, am I sore. You know, I was in shape, but this football shape something different. So I wasn't sure how good he'd be. Yo, Murphy with the TD. Vegas, 37 percent on the conversion just around the league average three four eight Play action green throwing and he's got the point ricky brady making the catch and vegas with an impressive drive after overcoming the penalty and they put seven on the board we'll be right back after these messages and a word from your local station the outlaws lead by seven I love Yo, go, Murphy. Yo, yo, yo. His real about, name baby? is Llewellyn. What's up, baby? I love Steve you, bro. Yeah. 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 Actually, his sister couldn't oh, pronounce yeah. his name when he was younger, so called him Yo, and pretty much everybody fell in place with Yo. Said he looked like a yo-yo jumping up and down in the crib. He actually was known as Yo-Yo until he was 12 years old and then shorted to Yo. But even in class, the papers, mm -hmm. Yo Murphy. And uh, for Vegas, it was a big Yo 11 as he struck gold. Yo, you barely even had this uniform on for 10 minutes, and you got six points, buddy. Uh, you know, they brought me in and had some great blocks by uh, Nikia and Mike, and uh, just trying to score held Vegas out. Now, do you feel like you're kind of uh, disconcerted out there, or are you right in the middle of the offense? Uh, you know, I'm, they just threw me into the fire, and I just came out to perform, you know, for my boys in Tampa and everybody in IF. Run, run, go! So now the pressure back to the enforcer offense. That throw is complete over to Ryan Yarborough, who's back in the lineup this week. He's been banged up a little bit, a gain of nine. Good job by Yarborough getting position in front of the defender. Kevin Scott. Oh! Let's go. You know, you're talking about Yo Murphy coming in. You got him as a receiver. You've got Mark Greeb as a quarterback. Between the two of them, they know about half the half of the offense. Blue 22. What's correct? Blue 22. Worked out so far. So far, John Avery finding a slice of real estate. Maybe pick up a yard, pick up a third down at about two. Well, I understand they're trying to establish a run game a little bit, but they're going to have to start opening up a little bit more. Let McDougal start doing some play action. Ron Meyer was hired October 18th after Dick Butkus moved up to the league office and did not have much time to put the team together only a couple of weeks before the draft. Big third down play here. Avery slipping. Trying to get up to around the 32. Looked like he was knocked down short by Kurt Gavea, the veteran linebacker. Let's see where they spot it. It's very close to the first down. Any guys, they'll tell you on the team, they say who's more verbal. I am. I'm going to voice my opinions. 
I don't care who it is. I'm going to voice my opinion. I'm going to um, try to make sure that this team, that we get the best out of this team with the talent that we have. I think you look on paper, we've got some of the best guys in the league. There's no questioning some of the talent. They have not been able to put together offense and defense in the same game. Right there. They finally get a break. Just enough. And John Avery gets the first down. You know, John not really getting any clean any clean run so far. He uh, obviously, as you said, he wants to be a little bit more of a, of a vocal leader, getting out and you know, getting these guys motivated. But the best thing he can do right now is getting his, you know, getting in there, getting his butt in the line of scrimmage and showing these people how to play it. Good chance to bring out all the artillery today from the closet. Real football fans turning out in our big house here at Soldier Field, turning out in the cold Chicago conditions. Avery. Gets away from Gavan. Can he turn the corner, though? Then he meets a pack of outlaws, and they knock him down. It looked like Carl Simpson was the first guy that had the shot at him and missed him, but gave him a little enough time, forced him to bounce it outside, gave the rest of that defense a chance to get out there and chase it down. Watch Simpson. He'll be the first one making a play here. The rest of the guys. Good chase on that defense. Tell you what, I played on defense like that. When you, you know, it's no, all no, about no, you. No. It's all about what you do, and it's all about the pride of stopping them and just That's floating around. And everybody being at the point of the ball. McDougal again. This time Avery's got to room. Avery racing out to the 40. He's near midfield, and that's the big first the enforcers were looking for. He hasn't from had John a, Avery. Right, he hasn't had a clean one yet. Everything's been getting nicked. He hasn't had a clean Go. hole yet to pop it through. That was the first one. That's John Avery. You're going to see a lot of. Oh. Gain of 18 for John Avery. Huh? Right now, the forces are relying on. Again, he was banged up with a thigh contusion. Deep thigh bruise happened in the Birmingham game. And he's out right now. In is LaShawn Johnson, a pretty dependable number two back. He picked up a gain of one. Chicago didn't expect the Vegas offense to put the seven on the board early because Vegas has got the lowest offense in the league. Yeah, no, 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 no. And remember, that, that was a, we, we just witnessed let's a 13, go, go. 14 point let's swing go. when that uh, the right, Forster, right. Aaron, Four Aaron belly, Humphrey returned that one, on one. touchdown. Ready? That gets called back. The drive continues. No, 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 no. And the Outlaws get the seven points. Right now, the Forster is just trying to get back in it. Round 121. Round 121. Set. Showing blitz. They pick up the blitz. Going out to Ryan Yarbrough in the flat. Finds a few yards. Crunched down Jason Kaiser. You're pussy, Tate. You broke off. All day. Outlaw. Outlaw. Oh, yeah. Outlaw. Brandon Sanders. Over G. Robber. Ready? Over G. Robber? Could be the best defensive player in the league. 27 BMAC, Brandon Sanders. Hard hitting, tied for the league lead with three interceptions. Some think he may be the defensive MVP in the league when it's all said and done this year. Third and six. And whistles. Take him back. BMAC's got the call. <laughs> Take him back, Mr. Fisher, please. Play game, 15, offense. Take him back, five please. yards. Down remains three. Hey, it's early in the drive. He still has his win. He can still talk. Here, here comes that screen. Screen to number 20, bro. Dougal's got to get used to here the shorter play yeah. clock of the XFL. Ready? Got a tough one inside. You going to grab him or what? Screen to number 20, bro. Just say G if you're in there. Be back Check looking one. for the screen. Oh, get out here, out here, out Avery, here. But Avery's not in the lineup. Rashawn Johnson is the back. And he's going to get the handoff. And look at the move, Johnson! Very close, I think he did pick up the first down in that third and 11. LaShawn well, Johnson showing some speed over BMAC. Maybe BMAC was looking for Avery, that's why he had trouble <laughs> finding Johnson there. He was, sure. But well, Johnson, that bad, bad Johnson, spot. I tell you, he really bounced it outside. That does look like a bad spot, you're right there. But watch how he bounced outside. Last play, he kind of got caught inside. This one, you see the 
wide open back end and takes advantage of it. I don't know, Johnson had that kind of quicks, man. He moves. Now it's B Max making. William Bates. All right. Here's some of the defensive guys saying, watch the hard count. You get down close. You get down in a situation with a couple of inches. Four down. You get an offense. You get a quarterback with a hard, hard cadence trying to get you to jump. Get, you know, get that first down the cheap way. Of course, as an offensive guy, you can't be right. Zero wedge, first down. Ready? That's me. Yeah. Avery looks like he's loosening up and getting ready to get back in there. Eye formation this time on fourth and inches. The keeper by McDougal. And the crowd liked what they saw on that one. It will be, appear to be a first time. Yes, for Chicago. So McDougal, who hasn't been asked to do a lot yet, Bob. Let's go, let's go, baby, let's sort of go. Slowly moving him into the game plan, leading with the run first. All right, with McDougal, everything so far has been given to Avery, given to LaShawn Johnson. Let's go, let's go. Shoot the little short pass out of the field. Hang in that line, hang in there. Quad left, five belly on one, ready? We hear McDougal talking to his let's line. Let's go, let's go. Hang in there. Banged up and overmatched by the front four of Las Vegas. They're doing pretty well so far. Check us in. Uh, should be a run to the left. John Avery. Avery's got a lot of room. To the 30. Avery down inside the 25. Kaiser finally tripped him up. Down to the 22. But the enforcers are getting that big play that they need this spring against a tough off a defense to go against down the field. Well, part of the, part of the success. Watch 92, Kevin Kinney stunts inside. The guy's supposed to come out outside because he gets pinned inside. Also, Mike Crawford, the linebacker, pinned inside. John Avery has nothing but real estate to go find and run on. Avery off to a good start after the 21-yard pickup. He's got 47 yards already. Now LaShawn Johnson spots him, and he rams to the hole. Well, they found some... Some momentum going their way. Yeah, you know, this is something I don't think we've seen this important team have in a while. Kicking the ass. No touchdowns last two games. Right. Shut out last week after the three-point disappointer against Birmingham that we had here on the national network. Under well, 77, like seven will come to I'm looking for a TD late in the through the interception. Rip, rip, rip. Monday. Well, you got to call off and get coming, though. Like any eight. That time play action. McDougal, oh, he could not elude Joseph Tuipala in a couple of sacks last week and gets in on the quarterback where it looked like McDougal might have been able to spring free and he got tripped up at the last moment. Uh, nothing against McDougal, he's just not that fleet of foot. As you can see, the end of the first quarter. Let's go. Not everybody from Notre Dame is fast, eh? I just mean a couple other guys. That was it, though. A good start here in the sick faithful at Soldier Field. Uh, you know, you acclimated to the weather, so they're used to this kind of stuff. That's nothing to check the sign out. Not have the jacket, right? The enforcers. It just doesn't seem to flow the way the, some of the other ones. Yeah. The enforcers. They're well, trying to make it flow, though. Good drive here, but a big play. Third and 20. Black at the 32. Be a long field goal attempt Black if they don't pick up yardage. Johnson Black in motion. McDougal in trouble, gets away, not for long, and he lost three yards in the play. He was sacked by Michael Mason, and now it's a 52-yard field goal attempt. And let's see if Crossland punts it or goes for the long one. Yep. What do you yeah, think? Outlaws came with a corner blitz on the slot side. McDougal saw it right away, and he decided, I got to get out of here. His number, look at his number 31, Kelly Herndon. Coming through, McDougal trying to take it. Enforces after a nice drive, forced to punt. So fourth down, of course, always can be an adventure. Ball live after 25 yards. Ten is the live. Let's see, he's going to let it go in the end zone. That's okay. They, once it gets to the end zone, they bring it out to the 20. Smart play by Jason Kaiser. We see a lot of guys trying to take it out. Craig Benavini went back with Bob Golick, Lee Rearman, Kip Lewis. We're at Soldier Field, the Outlaws on top after a wild first drive. He hate me, he's got some room on the right side. 
And he gets through for five yards. Matt right. Grieve last week leading the Outlaws to victory in a tough place to win, Pac Bell Park. And with the victories today, they'll take a one-game lead on both L.A. and San Francisco in the West at the midpoint of the season. He hate me. Up to the 30. A gain of five. He's close to the first down. We're short. We're short. Matt Fink has made the stop. He hate me. Maybe popular with Vegas. Well known, but... Not with the opposition. Pretty much everybody else, but that's a good response. Double right, four reach. Double right, four reach on one. Right. You don't think he put he hit me in the back of his jersey to be anonymous? Left, left, left. Looks like the lights are going to go Green left hand over the right hand side. Green 18 it's hard. Third and one. Third and one. Smart. He found room. Nice job. Oh, he got crunched too by Kerry Cooks, but it was enough for the first down. Rod Smart kind of tiptoeing, finding his way to the hole, did a nice job of finding the hole, but also lined himself up with Kerry Cooks enough for Cooks to put him on his butt. You see Cooks there, 31, watch him in this play. Oh! Oh, jeez. Kerry out of Iowa, 26 years of age. 318 dead! 318 dead, hot! Grieve on the draw. He hit me with a few more yards for the Outlaws. A gain of three. Chicago's defense this year has been particularly vulnerable against the pass. They are ranked eighth in the league overall, but they have been better against the run. Although today it seems like Rod Smart, he hate me. 33 hot Chicago being, on one. Being used Great. just in a kind of a, a pound it away, get a couple yep. yards here, a few yards there, move the first, right here, move yes. the first down markers Wonders. and keep the clock going. Set. Yeah. Purple 98 dead. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Yeah. Purple 98 dead. Hot. <laughs> Reeb is back. Just three rushers gets it out to he hate me again. And he stiff arms. They get near the first down. Rod Smart once again getting the ball. This time it's a pass. Told you this guy, when well, we talked a little bit about John Avery for the Enforcers, obviously Rod Smart is a guy who is it does it all for the offense for the outlaws. We got the run game in, you can see those short passes. 66 power on one. Ready? Just a matter of getting the ball to him. Let's see what he can do once he gets control of the ball. 92 yards, first three games for Smart. Breakout last week, 90 yards and a touchdown against San Francisco. Ben Smart in motion. Here's Smart diving ahead. And again on third down, they come up with the first down. Vegas now three to four on third down. Let's go. Come on now. Let's go, D. Hunt. Come on. The voice of Jamie Baisley, linebacker. Eagle G, cover three, ready? Left, left. Hey, hey, shoot over here. Hey, hey, hey. He grew up here in the worst side of Chicago. Green 18 Jet. Green 18 Jet. Snell in motion. He ain't me. Gonna try to follow the fullback around Snell. Picks up some nice yardage. Pushed out by Bray and Aaron Humphrey. I talked about about Rod, Rod Smart's versatility. So far this game, he's touched the ball ten times. It's not that versatile. Nine rushes, one pass reception. Right now, that's Straight kind of is getting them the, uh, the drive on one. Great. Right. right, right, right. Pop him, pop him, Norton. Set. Green 18 Hawk. Green 18 Hawk. Green <laughs> dropping back in a fire this time over oh. the head of the intended receiver, Corey Nelson. And incomplete. Well, Green last week didn't have monster numbers, Bob, but he did the most important thing. He yeah. protected the ball. Yeah. No turnovers he at all. Turn it over. That's exactly right. Uh, this Vegas team, like we said before, very good at the giveaway takeaway ratio. Able to not give too many away. But, uh, you know, he definitely, he's got to control himself a little bit. He had a lot more time to find his receivers and relax. He's got still a little jump with this being his only on, second game this year. Set! Green 18 dead! Green 18 dead. Third down and five. On the draw, Green's going to pass. 
Hit from behind at the last moment. That may have flown off the pass. And it was Jason, Jason Jorak, who was the GOAT on the first series, who made the big hit. That's one of the scary things for a quarterback. Those defensive ends, they rush, they get pushed to the outside, and they get pushed back past the quarterback. At that point, a lot of offensive linemen let them go, but if they're tenacious, they come in and I hit a quarterback dead square in the back of the shoulder pads. They start salivating when they see the ball still in the quarterback's yeah, hand. Not that right. Good D by the enforcers. The 25-yard line is where the ball will be live. McCallum to kick. Ivy is back. At the 25, breaking left. Not a lot of room there, and he doesn't get a game. Hey, I'm Lisa. During the week, I perform full-time for the Chicago Honey Bear Dancers, singing and dancing worldwide for Fortune 500 companies and special events. In addition, on the weekends, I'm your XFL cheerleader with aspirations of becoming a major recording artist. Chicago enforcers are gonna win, oh yeah. There she is, Lisa, leading the cheers and the songs at Soldier Field where the Outlaws were on top early. Craig Benavini back with Bob Golick on a raw day in Chicago. Again, Bob, you're not wearing the gloves? No very, gloves. Very tough no customer. Gloves. Well, you know, we have the special mics. We're going to listen in now on the series, kind of lay out and hear the sounds of the players and the quarterback on the series here with the enforcers trying to tie it up with Kevin McDougal, 15, at the helm. Block 88! Block 88! Set! Hit! <laughs> I got something for you. How about you? Look. Under 77. Come and see him, ready? Sam Will. Sam Will. Sam Will. Come and see him. Rip, 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 rip. Show me something. Blue 22. Blue 22. Go, go, go. Go. You alright? Over um, one. Alright. We got opposite the nickel. Hey, we got eight six! We got eight six! We got eight six! Black 88! Black 88! Side hunt! He don't want none. Fucker. Andy Crossland back to punt for the enforcers as Chicago could not get the first down. Jamel Williams at the 27th. And he lost the ball right at the last moment. The whistle was early. Well, I don't think he was down yet. And I don't think Chicago's going to get the break of the call there. What do you got? What do you have? Ford progress stop. First down, White. I got you. I got you. Ford oh, progress stop. First down, White. The field call. Vegas looking to add to their lead over Ron Myers Enforcers. Looks like Lee Rearman is up in the crowd <laughs> instead of on the field parading the sidelines and annoying coaches and players. Human troll. Set. 385 Hawk. 385 Hawk. Hut. Hut. Not smart. Got a lot of room here. 
Angel Rubio, there's tough hits, and there's that bomb you laid on John Avery. Are you guys targeting that guy today? Oh, of course, of course. He's their biggest weapon. You know, he's a great player and has a defensive line as well as, well as a defensive uh, front. He caught our second down to the ball, so expect that kind of hustle all day today. And right before I came to you, you said, I felt that one. Oh, yeah, I felt that. I didn't need to see a replay, but I felt it. It was good. And Angel with the decided weight advantage going to, at 310 pounds. Avery at just 190. Ouch. Smart. First down and more. He's at midfield. John Avery, Angel Rubio said he got a nice hit on you. Did you feel it? I mean, I mean, you can't make everybody miss. And I, I mean, it's a hit just like any other hit. It was cute. It was cute. I don't see it, though. <laughs> They can't stop you, though. Yeah, no, no, no. Not today. Oh, Angel, Q, Angel doesn't want to find out that his hits were cute. That's insulting to a defensive player, isn't it, Bob? Well, a cute hit? I'm going to say this. I haven't, I haven't been a defensive player all my life. That was not a cute hit. That was a hell of a I mean, hit. Nobody ever came up to you and said, you're cute. No, no. Still don't. Either on or off the yeah. Still don't. Cream firing to the flat, wide open Murphy. He did the damage with a touchdown. A look at the yards after the catch. A tough guy getting a gain of 12. Jason Bray trying to hold him in position until got some help, but uh, just didn't happen. So a little bit too much cushion there. Aldo's trying to throw one more on the board before halftime. 96 slant on one. Chicago's got to be thinking they have to stop because of that outlaw defense. You cannot get too far behind. The three and one outlaws. Outlaw, outlaw! Okay. Set! 385 Jet! 385 Jet! Hut! Three. Mike Smart again. Good yardage for Rod Smart. <laughs> Out of the 32. You're going to be leading you all day. Eight of seven. Come on, let's go. Yeah, yeah. Come on, man. All right, Elwick. Yeah, you hear Kerry Cooks telling Rod Smart's going to be me and you all day, baby. <laughs> Rod Smart, though, no matter what Kerry Cooks is doing, Smart today, 12 carries, 81 yards, almost 7 yards of carry so far today. 24 years of age out of Lakeland, Florida. Smart again. He's got confidence after last week. Got another good game. Hey, we got the media. Leave the ball. Come on, Dale, when you're ready. Smart off to another solo day. 322 Utah on one. Great. He had 80 of his yards in the first half last week. He's got 85 already. Three. Rocket. Set. 318 Hawk. Rocket. 318 Hawk. No, sir. Grieve now is going to fire a little behind Mike Furry and incomplete. Yeah, he's been connecting with Joe Murphy. Furry that hey, time just a little down. bit We're behind. Couldn't yes, get his body yes. turned back to grab it. Quad. Trey right, 10 draw. Here we go. Here we go, here we go. Trey right, quad, quad. Trey right, 10 draw. On one. Vince, all call days, the offensive coordinator, the voice you heard before Mark Green barked out the signals in the play to his team. Flag down here. Got a huddle with 12 players. I was on the offense for huddling with 12 players. Penalty five yards. Down remain two, number 30. That is not an XFL rule <laughs> that you can huddle with 12 players. This guy just listening in. Just, that age leaves. What's the difference? I think it's just something they're going to observe her. Don't do that again. Make you clear it with me, Ronnie. Chris Chuck Woman comes off. Trey Wright, 10 draw on one. Right. Three, three. So he's got to go and uh, trip to right to get in the offense spread out. Sounds like it could possibly be a draw. Split. Set. Three receivers Three split, jet. split to the right side. Three nineteen jet. Hut. Chicago showing blitz. It is the draw. Here's Smart, and he stopped. And again, it was Kerry Cooks who stepped up from his free safety spot to make the hit, bringing up third down here and some distance. Let's go. Third down. No gain. It's going to be a third and fifteen. What a nice matchup between these two guys, man. Okay. 
They'll be back for the big third down play here at the two-minute warning. Seven zip Vegas. LA, double overtime. We're up 12 points with six minutes left. Didn't get the job done. I mean, that's sickening. To me, in the fourth quarter, I felt like we were still in control. And we, we gave it away, even overtime. You know, we gave it away. Yes! Yes! He's got it! Birmingham game, we're down the two-yard line, you know. All right, we're thinking down 7-3. And uh, next thing you know, it's the guys running down our sideline. I'm about to jump out and tackle them, you know. That's what really determines the character of the team. That's the hardest part, looking back at that and saying, man, we should have won that game. Shoulda, coulda, woulda. Right now in the West, Vegas leads the way. Looking to take a one-game lead. Chicago, though, on four so far. Had chances in all the games. Leads in a couple of them. Thought they would take the lead against Birmingham with an interception play you just saw off the hand of Ty J. Armstrong. And last week was stopped on fourth and goal from the one yeah, from scoring. A little tough out there with yeah. Orlando kind of ruling the roost. Undefeated thus far. 385 Hawk! Third and 14, big play of the game here, first half. To the flat, wide open play! And Smart's got it first down and more. He's tripped down against the 10. And Rod Smart out of the backfield with a big gain in for the outlaw. You know, one of the things that's helping this outlaw offense is they're not getting any pressure at all. I'm Mark Grieb. Mark Grieb comes in. Go. It's his second, go it's his second go. game as a starter. He's not even being hassled on one. Right. A gain of 21. And that brings up first down and goal from the 10. 10. 3, 5, 10. 3, 5, 10. Mark. Picking his spots. Gaining three. Dorian Bruce stepped up to stop him. Well, Jim Kreider, the coach, is a very patient attack offensively. Doesn't ask his quarterback to do too much. And when he's got smart running the way he does, the whole offense has been able to turn up some yardage. Exactly. Why even put your position? You got a position to sit back and have to spend too much time sitting back in the pocket. Short passes, dump them off. Set. Give them a handoff. Easy, easy. Black 325, Utah. And Ron sets up the pass for Jim Kreider. Utah. He's looking in zone, firing, Murphy, touchdown! And yo, Murphy, you, you, the new pickup does it again. That was the same call. They made that call at the line of scrimmage, Utah, 324, I think. Same one that they threw to Mike Fury. It was a little bit behind him a couple of plays ago. This one they throw it to Murphy, right on target. But inside Jason Bray, they made it look easy. He's giving him a little too much room there. Without a doubt. Too much cushion. I can't, I know it's one thing to sit back and not let him in the end zone, but you, you, you can't play that loose. Chicago, uh, Las Vegas, rather, four to nine in the conversion between Tripp taking the snap. So that's the lone highlight right now for Chicago in the first half. Joe Murphy with a pair of touchdowns, and the Outlaws lead 13-zip late in the second. So, Bob, you don't need a Ranger flight to see the Orlando cheerleaders. You can watch it on television next week. I'm sure they'll be very accommodating. Yes, we will see what the race cheerleaders have to say. They've had the most to cheer about this season. I have played They're undefeated. I've played a long time in pro ball. Never once have I been inside a cheerleader's locker room. Nice to hear, Bob. Tim Martin took the ball around the 30 and got it up to about the 37, but only 48 seconds to go for an offense that is not inclined to throw it. McDougal has only tossed it four times. Yeah. The question here is, do they give it a shot downfield with the quarterback or not? Well, I, I think that they're probably going to have to open it up a little bit, at least give it a shot, but you can't, you don't want to put the, uh, the outlaws in a position where they can get another score, whether it be even a, even a field goal. This comes down to confidence in the quarterback at this point. So far, they've been very conservative, but as the score goes in the wrong direction for Chicago, they're going to have to open it up at some point. Well, the problem is there's getting so much pressure up front. You see right there, 
A safe pass to Avery, but Joseph Tuipala, who's having another big game. I mean, what a complete, what a complete defense. You saw the, the, the rush up front, albeit in a screen pass, you usually let the guy through, but the, the, the linebackers are right there to make the play in the receiver. So Meyer not calling the timeout's gonna let the clock go. McDougal eluding. Now it takes the dump off pass. They really take for just a few yards. But he did not call a timeout. They could have about 20 more seconds. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, they, they, they've got so they probably should have called it then. I mean, he, he, and then thinking they don't think that they have much of an opportunity here. Let's go, let's go. I think he's a little intimited by the fact that they're down about seven, everybody. Exactly what Louis, we were talking Louis, about. Louis. Do you go for 48. it? All? But if you do, do you Louis, rest on the other Louis. team score on it? McDougal over the middle. It's intercepted. It's intercepted by lateral. Max Sanders. The lateral now. The time clicking down. Thrown out of bounds at around the 10 yard line. Sanders caught it. He Tossed it over to Kelly Herndon, but the good news is the time ran out on the Outlaws for Chicago. Wow. Coach, this Las Vegas offense has not been able to do much all year, but they, you guys have not been able to stop them. What's going on? Well, they're running the ball well. They got good mixture. Glebe has got, got them in rhythm. They're, you know, catching the ball. We're just not tackling them. Mark Grebe, what a great lucky gift. Yo, not Yo 11, but Yo Murphy was this week. Two touchdown passes. Yeah, it's nice to have Yo in there. He's made some big plays so far, and that's what we need on offense. Far cry from last week, huh? Definitely. So Mark Grebe with three TD passes here in six quarters for Las Vegas as the Outlaws look to go to 4-1. and one. Wild finish, and lucky for Chicago, the clock ran out. And this is what Chicago did not want to get involved in. An opportunity, a turnover. Where the Outlaws could score, a couple of laterals took place. Easy to say now, Bob, but they were better off running out of bounds. Hurrying around the, the 20, ball. getting a field goal attempt, but that's easy to say in the right. hindsight. So we're at the half at Soldier Field in the Windy City, and the Outlaws are on top. I'll tell you what, Kerry Cooks is really standing out as a guy who's making a lot of those big hits, playing the same, a free safety position. Put himself in a nice position to come and make those plays on He Hate Me. Chicago, which lost the uh, scramble. Well, Vegas has decided to kick again to get the field for the fourth quarter. Perhaps a win situation. So they kick off to start both halves. And well deep is Corey Ivey flying out to the 10. And he was tripped up by Chikuma. A good play by Chris Chikuma. And he got him before he got even to the 20-yard line. Kuma known for his Eddie Murphy impression around the <laughs> outlaw locker room. Well, he had a nice shot right there. So far, you, you see the possession uh, for the enforcers. Chicago's right now, they're, they're not getting anything. They had one good drive of 48 yards, but it stalled and they had to punt the ball. Right now, McDougal's going to have to get the ball downfield a little bit. He's going to have to find a way to start moving. Right now, his passing is only 3.4 yards per passing attempt. Not enough to keep that offense moving. Avery for a few yards, up to the, up the 21. Carl Simpson, I'm gonna keep the running, great baby. defensive lineman in the league, made the stop. John Avery, you can hear him coming in. He's feeling pretty fresh, a little frisky, coming off that injury from last week. And I, I used him early, in, hard and early in this game. Slip Z on one, ready? Still no reason to panic with this much time left. They do have the time to give it to Avery, let him do his thing. Come on, Crump. 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 Fake to Avery, they're going to pass the Yarborough in the flat. Didn't get a block out in front of him, but he did get some yardage up to the 27. A gain of five, Mike Crawford made the stop. And again, we talked about the three-point yards, three, three. Per passing attempt oh. for McDougal. Oh. You know, it's, it's enough that you utilize it to get first downs, that you can no, use the short thing, but you're not seeing them right. drop Blank the ball right to Avery. Blank right. I'm not sure your hand is turning blue, Bob. Would you like to borrow one of these hands? No, no. <laughs> oh, those are just drying up a little bit. Okay. We saw green. Third and three. We saw green. So that sounds like they're going to run off Don't tackle to Avery. On the right side, there we go. Avery's got the first down. He's slipping and 
sliding up to the 30. Early Tarver made the stop. A couple weeks back, though, Bob, he was hurt here on this play late in the game. Avery with a five ruse on the hit by Eric Sloan. And then he said that actually they thought it was a light bruise. They ended up massaging him. His leg literally turning his force yeah. are purple. It, I, I've had the, the, the contusion before. The muscle is so steep and so hard that it goes up once as the muscle starts to bleed internally, it locks up and it is so painful. The only bright news it was in the team colors, but for John Avery, he missed the last week's game. Here's Rashawn Johnson. Oh, he's hurtled over Kevin Scott. Rashawn Johnson up and over. Looked like one of those last man in the ring things, throwing him over the ropes. That's right. Over the top turnbuckle on that play. <laughs> Kevin Scott. About to hear come at the end of it night. Hey, I'll tell you what, Kevin Scott's a story by himself. At cornerback, he came back off a really substantial knee injury. Not just ligaments and cartilage, but he had nerve damage. He had to fight back. A lot of therapy from that top foot. Had to a little control of his lower legs, so he's doing well. He's doing with no time, but I think his mask was pulled by Kelly Herndon. Yes. They had him down. That was just a horrendous penalty for the outlaws to take. I'm not sure, though. It was not inadvertent. But it sounds like they're calling 15 yards here. <laughs> Let me just say yeah. this. Well, first off, it was Herndon again coming on the slot blitz. You're going to see him coming. Top side of your screen there. He got a piece of the mask, and and he did yank a little bit, even though he may, may have been inadvertent. Face mask. Defense. 15 yards. Automatic first yeah. down. Even though it may have been inadvertent, he held on to it longer. I mean, just even a full second like that is, is considered a 15-yarder. You know, on a second look, I'm not too sure it was inadvertent. Certainly was a good call. Okay. Got to call it. Okay. No. And it's first and ten now. And a big well, play like, there for the enforcers. Maybe that's the kind of break yeah. they need. When the quarterbacks Let's are go. like chum, you know, when you're out there going for, when you go out there going for shark. You know, once, you, once everybody starts getting around them, everybody's grabbing for a piece, just trying to get them down. Nice crowd here at Soldier Field. Yeah. The enforcer faithful. They haven't had a lot to root for at home. Shut out last week. Shut out through two quarters here today. Their team is playing a lot of spirit. They need a play to break through them. McDougal wide open receiver, Aaron Bailey. He gets free. And there's a big gainer for Aaron Bailey and the enforcers. Aaron Bailey, a little bit quiet today. The key here is a lot of time to throw for Kevin McDougal. Aaron Bailey finally open spot in front of the defender. Nice move to pick up the extra yardage. The key was that defense, that defensive front for the outlaws Four. that is always so Zero active against the quarterback was not there that time. So they're up to the 35 on the gain of 23 by Aaron Bailey. Black and E. Black and E. We've had some big plays in the first two games for Chicago. Off the draw, Avery runs, and welcome to the outlaw defense, John Avery. And with that front four, although there's a flag in the play, is the best in the league by far. I got a late hit on 66. Yeah. Which team? Chicago. Oh, All right. On, right. Here we go. Right here. Sound it up. As we're hearing, 66 on winning. Chicago. Personal foul. A necessary reference, 66 off. That makes 15 yards. Down remains one. Rob Murphy. This has happened last time, too, Craig. They got down into outlaw territory and then shot themselves in the foot. Tim Lester was telling me that he calls Murphy Tyson for swinging in practice in the uh, training camp. Look at the top of your screen. Right there you saw the Murphy bumps. You know, that was... That's kind of wimpy to call that. Yeah, that was, that was, that was a little light. End of the play like that, you know, there's going to be a little push in the shovel, Come but that on, wasn't that late. Please. Come on. 44! Deadly pay your for hammer, man. Black and E! Sad that today, right? McDougal takes the five-step drop, slinging it. He's got Yarborough, getting the yards back to the 42-yard line of Las Vegas. It looks like they're changing the offensive attack for Chicago or feeling a little bit more confident. Maybe that throw to Aaron Bailey, that completion to him, 
They're going to feel a little bit better about their upfield plays. Coach coming into this half, just not throwing it upfield. Now looks like they're feeling more confident. Never had 73 touchdowns in the Arena League last year, but he says that experience helped him because you don't have the time in the Arena League. Green and draw. Blue. Another right. screen pass to John Avery. Avery's there. No one the field. McDougal eluding the defense, running out of some room, fires, and that's a good thing it went out of bounds. Ty J. Armstrong intended, but he was not open. Flag on the play, though. And, uh, anytime there's that much time in the flag, a lot of times it's a, as a player wandering downfield who's not eligible. Tell you what, though, they had, they had John Avery right in the middle. He was the guy, watch him get picked up. Jeez. Ooh. They just whacked him. Pick they were beat that. Five, you can't catch the ball if he's laying on the ground. Not a loss of down. Not a loss of down. It is not a loss of down. Did you find it? It ends a receiver down field, number 67 offense. Penalties decline, third down. They wanted to see if there was a loss of down with that. If there was, they would have taken the penalty. But if not, they take the play, which is incomplete. So third and 18 for Chicago. They are just two for seven on third down so far today. Well, they've hit a couple of nice passes, one to Bailey, one to Yarborough. Black and Throwing it downfield, they're going to have to find a nice one here. Set! Hunt! Hey. McDougal play action. Big oh. rush. Fires it on the run. Got Yarborough. Oh. Oh. Going. Avery, oh. beg your pardon. Avery right got here, to man. about the 28-yard line. Oh. He's going to come up about three oh. yards shy, I believe. Oh. Oh. I'll be first down. Well, would have a little more time. Mike and Mason comes from the defensive end spot with a nice uh, nice pursuit on the on his backside, McDougal not able to set up and really throw the ball or even look way downfield. So passing up a 47 yard attempt. Andy Crossland out on one, ready? Has not attempted a field goal beyond 37. He passed up the 52 yarder in the first. They're gonna go for it here. A fourth and a four. When it comes to field position, why not, baby? This is a beautiful call. And three for five on fourth down this year. And they may have got the defense to jump. Antonio Edwards may have jumped. Well, maybe it was the offense. We'll Four see. Delay game. Back it's it up. Delay game. Don't even trip. It's delay game. Oh, You're Brandon uh, Sanders. That'd be the first down call. Saying delay a game. Well, you just about knew that before because that is how it's gone for Chicago. The breaks just have not gone their way. <laughs> Delay a game for the uh, enforcers. Well, now it'll be fourth and nine. Remember, if they kick the ball, this would be a kick into the wind, too. So this isn't even a, this isn't even a question here. You know, I'm in the middle, Kelly. So now it's fourth and nine, Black and he's still eight, going man. for it. Black eight. This is a questionable call right Good. here. Garbro's in motion. McDougal going to fire. Yeah. It's a man. It's caught. It's caught. Right Junior Lord. Lord. With a huge catch right near the first down marker. But I believe he picked it up. Hey, Junior Ward knew exactly where he needed to get. So many times you see a receiver going out and catching a ball at seven yards when they need 10. Or catching it at 14 when they need 18. Junior Ward caught it right at the flag. Just a yard past the flag. Nice job of picking up that first down. And a Guilford 33 touchdown school record in college and Junior Lord with a move of a senior at that point. You know, we, we, come on, come on, come on. We may have Ron Meyer, but yeah. hey, you know, the guy figures at this point, we oh, have to win the games. I know, I know the plays are good. So they got the timeout and they got the first down, a big one for Chicago. Kevin, we got to get on side. Avery stopped right at the line. Angel Rubio says hello to him again. Boy, this uh, enforcer offense, Bob, they're having trouble scoring. We have figured out uh, doing our, our little quick math. 149 minutes. Hello. 31 seconds. They have not scored. Fourth, fourth, fifth, 955. That's an estimate. Ready? Rip, rip. <laughs> 
Just a good hey, thing. the king is out here. You know, they're having as much trouble scoring as Lee Griffin. Black and E. Black and E. Dogo. He's got some room. Hits a block. And Avery was the blocker. McDougal was crushed by Kevin Scott. That's going to be a flag. At the 15 yard line. B back, though, is down as well. A big gainer by McDougal as he finally got loose and was able to get away from the front Kevin, door. Kevin Scott made the tackle on him, and I don't know if he. I think they're going to call him for face masking, but it looked like he actually caught part of his helmet. Let's check the end of the play here. Also, John Avery, number 20. Just crushed Brandon Sander right there. Yeah, he got him in the helmet. Here's Brandon John Sander. Watch number 20, John Avery, blocking on him. Oh. That was a sandwich here, Bob. That's just football. That's just football. <laughs> and McDougal <laughs> takes the shot to the head. The penalty is against Las Vegas. Who invented this game? <laughs> well, Brandon Sanders, you can see, coming off the field. Kevin Scott with a grab to McDougal's head. And little John Avery, not so little. He's a tough customer at 190. He threw a heck of a block. Well of a block. This time oh, Avery's in. Crawford's right back. Crawford. You make the play. Come on, Mike Crawford with a beautiful. <laughs> well, B Mac was on the other side of this attack. This guy, yeah. B Mac's been hitting people. Yeah, One more time, we're looking at you. Wait a play of him getting hit. John Avery took a big crunch earlier in the game for Major Rubio. He got the deliver one there. More importantly for Chicago, they got a bunch of that. What about now if they're asking Sanders what day it is? What time it is? McDougal's going to pass. He has a man in the front. He's wide right open! Come on! Ty J. Armstrong made the catch down to the two. A big veteran. This is the noises I've heard these Chicago fans so far today. They are pumped up around this enforcer, enforcer drive. They're also bundled up, too. On a very raw day, Chicago has not scored since a field goal by Cross and a couple of games back. And this will be the 15th play of this time. He's got eight minutes and 50 seconds. Johnson, can he find the end zone? He got close to the goal line. A flag was thrown down in the end zone by three officials. Good penetration with the defense up there. Ed LaShawn Johnson trying to roll it back inside. That defense just too strong. Too strong the flag for. Submitted on the defensive team. Penalties half the distance to the goal. Repeat third down. Be back. You're usually the one dishing out the punishment. You got popped pretty good there, buddy. I just got a little twisted, man. You know, my little vertical. But I'm still keeping it PR. I'll be back in there. I'm not somebody here for that. Well, this crowd loves you. Black and E. Third down Black and goal. Son, hunt. <laughs> it's Wendland. He got him. Touchdown. field goal in the first quarter and they've been shut out through two and a half quarters here until this Charles Wiley capped off a big drive. I say this is the first time they've had a chance to, to smell the napalm with the fireworks that comes on after those uh, after the touchdown. Ron Meyer's kind of liking that smell. And the whole fans who have come Jumbo, out of the morning right, in raw weather in two one, weeks ready? in a row finally have something to cheer about 152 minutes and 23 seconds. Three, two. As the break is broken. Extra Black, points three, on. Two. And difficult they are to get. Let's see what the can do. Big play. Bootleg. Bootleg is going to receive it. Oh. Got it. No. Wait a minute. No. It must have popped out. 
as Ty J. Armstrong was the intended receiver. So, there remain seven backs, but they are back here at Soldier Field. Here's a closer look. Play action bootleg, just not to be. He had him. And the veteran Armstrong going for it and couldn't pull it in. Vegas lead chopped down to 13-6. Chicago hopes that they will not have to think about that drop by Armstrong all game long. Losing the chance at the conversion. Ball loose there. Look out. And he picked up by Williams and he's built it. Oh, he's clean. He was absolutely shredded. And Donald McCall, big hit for the enforcers. And you could tell, Bob, uh, he got the good feeling back. Yeah, they really do the forces. All it takes, especially when you've been down for this many games, all it takes is a little bit of momentum, a little bit of a change, some couple of points to make you feel like you can compete again. Hold your water. Hold your water. Now it goes back outside. to the defense to hold against Las Vegas. Purple 85 Jet! Purple 85 Jet! Hot! Hot! Smart on the pitch. And some blocking. Got down to Sterling Palmer. Got a flag. Brought down smart. Number 82. 82. Got a ball. Got a ball. Football. Football. Captain, you want it back? 82. You want it back? Mike Fury being back called. Back it up. 10-yard spot of the foul. 82. 82, damn right. Holding. 82 offense, penalty 10 yards. Spot of the foul, repeat first down. Kevin, you guys came out throwing the ball in the second half. Did you talk about that in the locker room at halftime? Uh, yeah, we wanted to uh, open it up a little bit more. Uh, that Las Vegas defense is a great defense, and you just can't keep running on these guys. you got to mix it up a little bit, and that's what we did, and we had a little success, so we'll try to keep doing that. Are you feeling a little more comfortable running this passing game right now? Oh, definitely. I love to pass the ball, and, you know, it's just finding the situations to do it, and coach is calling some good plays right now, so we just got to keep it going. Green with some time over the middle. Ricky Brady diving. <laughs> Yeah, it, and it, it didn't complete. Incomplete. Yeah. It did not come up with the catch. Well, you had four. The 86ers were having trouble picking up the ball. Really tight end, huh? You had four, you had four uh, defensive backs for the enforcers. Singling no catch. And let's go. Oh, let's back and, and one, luckily, one referee. Here we go. Here we go. Deuce left. 88 Trojan on one. Hey. McDougal is just tight, talking tight, to him. Tight, Very tight. He's tall for 14. Green 85 Hawk! Green 85 Hawk! Back down to the play. The flat is smart. Martin fights a room. Look out! Martin the 30. The flag again down. He stepped out, I thought. Finally tackled down by Thompson. I don't know. I'm not sure if the defense jumped or not there. We'll have to see. Number 30. The enforcers moving back, running back. Not sure, Bob. They came black, you know. <laughs> but I'll tell you what. The formation of the it, offense, oh. I had, a, I had a, uh, number seven was covered. It's coming back. Listen to the crowd. Five yards. In the formation of the offense, an eligible receiver was covered up. Number seven, five yards. You beat first down. Corey Nelson. I tell you what, though, Rod Smart once again showing his running ability after the catch. But I'm, I'm giving the props to Hubert Thompson, number 91, the, the nose tackle from the Enforcers. What a job chasing him down. Coach Carter, looks like the wheels might be coming off a little bit here in the second half. How do you figure that? We just ran the ball down the field for 50 yards. But your defense let the other team score, and you had a couple of bad penalties. That's here. a good football team, okay? That's a good football team. They made some plays. Set. Negating a 49-yard play. The penalty. Maybe the time the least is turning Hunt. because in the first half the penalties are going the other way. Reed's going to have to pass. Got a man. The pass is intercepted. Intercepted. Dorian Brew up to the section. Brew still going, and he gets down to the 15. And this place is going crazy. I can hit 
last week was the hero for Las Vegas. Right, the ball was thrown from behind, goes off his hand. Dorian Brew, nice run back. Makes Jason Brave in a nice hit too on the receiver to help get that ball out. So, big chance Chicago. Avery trying to get loose, can't do it. He was hit first by Torin James. Crawford ended up with a tackle. It's a loss of three. Hey, Dorian, your offense gets things going with a touchdown. Now you come out and get an interception. Tell me about that. Well, that's what we talked about during the halftime, you know. Defense had to step up and make a big play. And uh, that's what I did. Six turnover of the year for the Chicago D. Of course, Vegas came in with the heralded defense turning 50, 50. or causing 13 turnovers more than three a game each team down with a turnover they took a look out of front and it was locked down at the line of scrimmage and it is incomplete so now a big third down play you know i've been i've been with a defense like this yeah when you feel like you know what we're in a bad situation but we're a damn good defense when you take this as a challenge to come out, you're put in a bad situation, a bad spot in the field, okay. and it just kind of kind of picks you up a little bit. Okay. You know, it's your job to keep them out of the end zone. Chicago has not been a good third down this team this year, about 25%, and today there's two for eight on third Black down. And third and 12 here. Black and yay! Son! Garbo is in motion. Avery gets the handoff. He's touched down. Big Ty Parton chopped him down. Will not get the first down. Gain of a couple. Andy Crossland is coming on for what appears to be a field goal attempt for the enforcers to get him to within four. Well, you hate to see it, having that opportunity with that great field position and not getting six out of it, but at this point, you're down by seven. You've got lots of time. Hurry up! Surprised they ran it on third and 12? A little bit. Crossland. Especially when they had 12 yards, yeah, a little bit of a surprise. Two for three this year. This one is from 31. He's going to run out of time. Yeah. 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 is good. Andy Crossland out of the University of Miami. And the Chicago Enforcers have battled back. They are within four late in the third. That's Soldier Field. to Buell Blast for under 80 bucks a month. Visit Buell.com for the dealer nearest you. Right there to make the play, but certainly the momentum has changed, and we'll see once again what this enforcer defense can do. Small kid, look out, ball's live! Hit off the arm, and it looks like Las Vegas recovered. It appeared to bang off one of the guys up front for... Las Vegas, I think it was Keith Jennings that it hit originally. A flag is down in the play. What's the flag? The kick was a low one. It looked like a set play. I just looked at Ryan Clement was, was loosening up on the sidelines. I thought he might go in, but Reeve did go back in. Clement has been throwing on the sidelines, so. Wait a minute, we got another one. 92, what do you have? Trying to sort it out. Uh, personal foul, moving off seven. The hand of Mark Reeve appeared to cut it. Personal foul. All right, that has been the story. 92, the reserve team. Personal foul, 91 of the kickers. Those penalties will offset. Ball will be placed at the end of the run. First down, Las Vegas. Set play, Bob. Oh, hit the mask. Right the mask of the player. The mask, I think, of Jennings or Edwards. Oh, hit the mask. Right of, the mask of the player. Hit the mask, I think, of Jennings or Edwards. And Grieve with the, uh, look like a slight injury in the left hand. is not throwing hand. It will stay Round in the game. 17, Jet! From a good one! Good field position Round as a result 17, of right at the 46. Hi. And off, Chris Jakuba. 
Takes it for a yard or two. Aaron Humphrey made the stop on Chikuma out of Arkansas. I don't know the the guy, they call him silly. I don't know if that kick was intentional. A lot of times they'll try to squib it to give the guys a hard time handling it, but certainly the way it bounced has uh, put the put the uh, the outlaws in real good field position to start. Chikuma looking for a spot. He's got one. And he's got into the enforcer territory as the third quarter winds down here. And it was a good quarter for the Chicago Enforcers as they have battled their way back in the game. The Wiley touchdown, the field goal by Crossland, and lots of heavy hitting the story so far. Maybe I should have stayed at that master's program <laughs> at Stanford. I <laughs> like The Enforcer cheerleaders entertaining the crowd in what has been an entertaining afternoon all around here at Soldier Field. It's a, I'll tell you what, raw. Chris, Chicago Day. I'm not going to. I'm not going to complain about being cold anymore. Not after watching them more. <laughs> and the crowd enjoying it here at Soldier Field, and, and most importantly, enjoying that third quarter when they saw the Enforcers battle back no doubt. against what some say is the best team in the league, if not the second best set. in Las Vegas. Big third down play here. Green eighty-five Hawks. Green eighty-five Hawks. Smart That's back in the backfield. Three passing flag down. Smart wide Get open. Out. Stumbling and bubbling, he hangs on for the first down, but again, the Hankies down in the backfield. If Smart could have got a hold of that ball right off the bat, he would have turned and run much quicker, probably pick up a lot more yardage, but again, it's going to depend on what that flag's for. Back it up, guys. Back it up. Back it up. Back it up. Ineligible, uncovered on my sideline. Ineligible receiver, uncovered, so we have an illegal formation. You heard it here first. Hold back. Okay, they're gonna decline. I don't know. There have been two penalties on the play We're against go Las Vegas. 50, Nike switch. Okay. 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 Hey, Rod. They're gonna take the holding uh, right and try the legal formation. You get seven, Ten okay. yards back now. That brings up third and eleven. Here, Mark Reeb telling his guys they're gonna get seven. Tell him, watch the draw. Take it down. Take it down, back. Long way to go. They have to get to about Bob the 41, 46 rather, of Chicago. So they're going to need 11, 12 yards. The third thing though for Chicago is the fact that normally it's Chicago that's shooting themselves in the foot about now. Right. It's been a reversal of fortune here in the second half. A big play here. Monday. They just got run six on third down. 385 Hawk. Very safe. Five wide receivers. Nobody in the backfield. The movement as Turek jumped, but he may have been forced number by the offense. I think he was. Damn. Well, ball start. 66 offense. At least five yards. On the main three. Well, Jim Crowder told me he wants to get Lonnie to settle down and be more patient, and there he was not. Well, I'll tell you what, this defense is just wants to make sure that they don't get the first down. You got three guys rushing up front, eight guys in coverage, seven in coverage, actually. Five, about seven three yards off the line of scrimmage. Against three five wide five receivers on third and 16. Green looking left. Pressure cuts some room to run if he wants. Throws over the middle complete. He's got a man in furry. Hurry 
Hey, he's right here. around that first down marker. First down. They may have picked it up. Oh, how man. Did you see it? Picked it up, I think. You know what? It's, it, yeah. Yeah, I understand the theory of Let's rushing go, three guys. Those Let's go hunt those receivers. Let's go hunt those receivers up. When there's three guys oh, rushing, the quarterback has all time go, in the world. Three up, guys three, cannot rush against five oh, or six blockers. Man. And eventually the quarterback is gets free, a and a coverage up. guy has got to come up and make a play on him. That's when the receivers Damn, come open. And Green's strength is not necessarily his arm, but his smarts. And he can pick out the receivers when he has time. And speaking of smart, here's Rod, and he gets inside the 40. So a big play by Vegas responding on third down, and then a gain of six there by Smart. My timeout. Well, essentially, essentially that uh, enforcer defense went prevent. John Blackman hobbling off the field. Fine athlete. John, the offensive lineman. We just met his wife Let's over go. here. Yes, his wife and his friends were over here, and her friends were over here giving us uh, all kinds of t-shirts. Swim, on. swim, cover three, ready? 30, 30, swim, three. Hug, 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 hug. 50, the 53. Set. Las Vegas. 385, hawk. 385, hawk. Well, it's on a spark. To get to the 35-yard line, Ray Austin made the initial stop out of Tennessee, coming off a couple of great games, nine tackles last week for the second week in a row. Okay, let's go. Trey right, Trey left, Jack, 1967 power. Ray's a defensive back, but Ron Meyer gets left, Jack, 67 power. Oh, looks like Mark Reeves going to call for a timeout here. Gray left Jack, 67 power. I don't know if yeah. he doesn't hear it or doesn't like the call. One thing for sure, I'll call he was getting a little frustrated trying to get the <laughs> call into Green. And he calls the timeout. I was, timeout. A, I was about you, to yell it down to if him. You, <laughs> if you can't hear it, you got to give him more of a signal. I did. I went on pitch. Well, he's got to wave right? your arm. Oh yeah. I can't okay. see that from here. Okay. He's looking for Muffy Bud, don't forget. Green yeah. thought he was telling the coach that yeah. he was a little I, crazy. Yeah, I just, he was cut off. Like, like, Wacko. Well, I think he'll just step out. Seven Follow power. We want to stay with this and just try to make Moments ago, Las Vegas talking about what they're going to do here on this third down and two. Green did not get the original call from Vince O'Calde, the offensive coordinator. Yep. Let's, we, we're going we're gonna to run power. So let's go straight out to 67 power. And, uh, Don't get the first now. Well, 67 power going to be off tackle to their offensive left. I think they said Trey formation. A couple of wide receivers and probably a tight end set to strength, set to the left side. Now this time they do have Ben Snell. He's 33, started Damn. to the left. Rod Smart in the backfield on a huge third and two. Now Snell goes to the right, back to the left. That's probably where it's going. Smart hit the backfield. Hit the backfield and stopped by Ray Austin. Dragged down on the play again. Nice penetration by Austin. Reeves says it's on the defense this time. See the Austin left side of your screen? Coming in to undercut Smart. Oh, it is against Chicago. Well, we talked before about how Chicago was usually the one shooting themselves in the foot. Back to it again. And this one, this penalty gives the Outlaws a first Ooh. down. You know what? This is exactly what the Outlaws do, outlaws do best. First and second down, they pick up some yardage. They put themselves in a shoot easy, third easy. and short. Brown, 97, and Jack. Usually they're getting the Brown, first down. Brown, 97, Jack. Hut. Rock That time eluded. And getting some good yardage as he somehow got around Jason Turek, who had a shot at him. I think it's a cook stop. Get down. 
a cold and raw Chicago day. And the enforcers trying to feed off the crowd enthusiasm for a second half comeback Let's against the Outlaws. Well, let's check nine. Smart now over 100 yards in the game. Left, left. 108. And a nice average, too. And he's under. Say, six, he hasn't had a big, big run. Six, six six run. Six yards yards I think the most important number. For playing fun, Jet Hunt! Oh, reverse. Well played, Joe Murphy. Murphy pitched down by Baisley. Jamie Baisley made a huge stop. A loss of one. Hey, Lonnie Pulele, the offensive tackle for the Outlaws, was leading the block. Corey Ivey, little Corey Ivey, 24, at 180 pounds, almost took him on until Baisley Eagle, came in to Eagle, wipe it off. On, ready? It was a beautiful sight. Watch it. Little Corey Ivey taking on a big, mean offensive tackle. Jamie from the north side of Chicago told us he has 25 Green 85 friends and family here for the game. Green 85 Mom off. is back home. She's too cold for her. In the flat spot, got it. Picked up a couple. He got away from Baisley at first who said he was L. Jason Bray made the stop. It looked like the kid Jenkins was uh, doing the blocking on Baisley, and any time anytime the guy that's being accused of holding gets up looking for a flag, he probably was cheating. We'll see. Watch him at the, watch him at the end of the play. He's hit from behind. Yeah, but look at him. He's looking for the flag. He's guilty. McCallum, 6 for 8. This from 42 yards away. He's the leading kicker in the league so far. That was low. Look out. Look out. That almost took the ref's head off. Drive and the enforcers stop. Well, all it, all it cost the enforcers was a little time. They got to find that rhythm back. Plenty hey, left. They're down by four. You're in there on field goal bar. Hey, you all right? You all right? Yeah. Back at Soldier Field, John Avery and the enforcers trail 13 zip at the half. They also had to overcome a frustrating play in the first quarter when it appeared Aaron Humphrey returned a fumble for a Chicago touchdown. No. Called back and adjacent Churk mm -hmm. offside penalty. But the, We're down 13 zip, right. Bob. As these fans know how important this game is for a victory, but they battle back. The, but the big thing that the, the enforcers have done today was a big drive led by Kevin McDougal. He's got the win with him this time. We'll have to wait to see if he decides to air it out. Get Avery, it Avery turned to the corner. He slipped free. And somehow turned what looked like nothing into a solid gain of eight yards. John Avery can not only fly, he's a physical player. We can fuck, boy. We can fuck. We can fuck. John Avery, Bob, is used to not having the height and weight advantage. It's not a factor for number 20. Avery. This time he's fighting for just a couple of yards. Paul McCallum, a lot of bad kicks out here today. Is it the wind, the cold, or was that just a, a dying quail, so to speak? <laughs> no, it's... Uh... Miss the spot a little bit, but uh, it's all right. We'll get the next one. Is the wind affecting the kicking game at all so far today? Yeah, greatly. How about the cold? Yeah, it's not that bad. I'm staying pretty warm, but uh, the winds affect the ball quite a bit. And again, the wind at the back of Chicago, though. Three, field goal. Four. It doesn't help you. There is enough time, certainly, to get a field goal more, but they're down by four points in the game. We told you the kind of arm McDougal has. Very strong. He's got the wind with him. All times are tight. Throws the goal. It's cool! Oh, man! What a catch by Ryan Yeager! As it appeared, Vegas might pick it up. First down. That's a gutsy throw by Kevin McDougal. That was a very gutsy throw to Yarborough. I didn't catch the number. The defender made a nice play on the ball, but Yarborough's great concentration to hit the snag. Zip. Flank right. P4. OC3 on one. Ready? Four, three, nice one. grab there by Yarborough. Black Eddie A. Let's go! Black Eddie A. Sam Hunt. Here's McDougal again with time. Throwing oh, lofting oh. over the middle. Wide open. He's a man in Leverson. And 
Luke Leverson goes in at the 26 yard line. And Leverson is lucky he had a little room around him. That ball just floated. Coming off a, a real tough throw by McDougal, who's under pressure. McDougal has made two nice throws in a row. Well, well, that again. Wasn't, that wasn't a nice throw. That was kind of a little bit of a right. little throw. bit of a dying okay. throw, but wide right. Four bellies on one. Ready? How about two nice completions? Anyway, you you want to chop yeah, it up? There you go. Completions. He's 14 out of 17. Yarborough in motion. This time it's Avery. In the backfield. Well, John Avery's a funny type of runner because he's one of these guys who will get a couple of these yeah. minus twos, minus threes, despite his elusiveness. Right, even though he's, he's, he's not a big guy, but he's going to pound the way inside. Everybody's going to think they got him shut down. Just about then he's going to either bounce it back, cut it back against the grain, find a, a play where somebody didn't seal on the back side or, or maybe bounce it to the outside for the extra yardage. But sometimes with his stutter step style, he's caught for a loss. And that time he lost draw, two draw, yards. Draw, 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 draw. LaShawn Johnson Black is now in the backfield. What's it great? Black and E.A. Yarborough again in motion. The pitch. Reverse. It's a reverse to Aaron Bell. He's got speed and a little room, maybe. Flipping through. Got down to the 25. Not only out of mind. But he did gain some yards about four on the plate. He did a good job, actually, to gain yardage. Did you see Kevin McDougal took out two defenders? Stay inside. As the plate came back. I don't know if we can see this okay, again. Okay. McDougal hands the ball off. Watch him here. Number 15 minutes in the screen. He's got two guys. <laughs> but really a great block. But he got in their way enough to keep him out of the action. Third nice down at nine down. at the 26 yard line. That is Notre Dame guys are tough. It'll be interesting to see what happens if they don't get it. In terms Black of they go to the field goal. Nicole Black and E. Third hunt. Leverson in motion. Dugo with a foot on. Turned and firing and oh, Dugo threw the ball away. He was out of the pocket. No flag there as he was pressured field by goal. Kelly Herndon. And they're going to go for the field goal attempt. It'll be about a 43 yard attempt. Well, they haven't been able to pick up Herndon most of the day. He's been blitzing quite a bit. And when he does, he gets it through. Andy Crossland has not attempted a field goal beyond 37, and he missed the 37. He's three and a four, but the makes have come from 31, 33, and 35. To bring Chicago within one for 43. The pick is no good. That one swinging wide to the right. So Chicago moved it, but could not come up with any points. And now they're going to find themselves needing most likely a touchdown to grab the lead of this one with four and a half to go. After the missed field goal, Las Vegas. Again, has the ball. This on their own 33-yard line. The spot. Green 18 hawk. Where the kick was missed from. Green 18 hawk. Hut. Well, if they could use the clock up here, they might earn the point victory. Rod Smart. With first down yardage, you gave him about four. Well, this is going to all be on Rod Smart right now. Eat up clock. Now, you saw the enforcers. They kicked the field goal. They missed it. Either way, okay, if they go, make it, it's still, it's it's still about stopping the outlaws. If they make it, it's still about stopping the outlaws. They still got to get them stopped in this series, and it's, uh, the outlaws are going to take it to give it to Rod Smart. He's going to be the guy that has been able to get him in third and short situations all day. Put that uh, tackle, defensive end, put him head up. Step up four. You got to, you got to do it. To the call. See all the doors running there outside. Yeah. Put him head up. Tell him not to play the floor. Have him play. Tell him to play head up. Okay. Talking about aligning his lineman, putting him in a floor. Hey, hey, let's go. Circle up here. Let's go. Hey, right. let's go. Let's get it done right now. Let's go. We can do it. Hey, the end to the call. Play head up. He doesn't want you in a floor anymore. He said play head up. He said play head up. He said. What do you usually line up in? Yeah, you said play head up. Whatever. What happened is four, you back up, cover three, ready? In a four alignment, you're on a shoulder, and it's easier for the it's easier for the guy to wall, for the offensive lineman to wall you. What he wants these defensive linemen to do is to take his head up, be able to play both ways, both right and left off of the block. Let's go, let's go. 
Hey, let's go! Baisley was talking to Pete Adrian, the defensive coordinator. Don't do it now. On second and six. Clock down to 411. Vegas had a 13 0 halftime lead. The enforcers trying to battle back for their first win. Part of the bench. That's a room wide right. He's got the first down to get to midfield before he's driven out of Rod Smart. So a good job finding that spot somewhere to get yards. Looks like they might got him again. Yeah, it seems like the most of the time he's getting it outside. He's he's taking his time, biding his time. Although this defense, this unfortunate defense, has swung pretty well, he's just got too much yeah. speed to beat these people out to the outside. Yeah, hold on, hold on, hold on. Smart game. Up three. Runs about a four. four. You see, Baisley. Four three, him. actually. He's a four three four. <laughs> on again, he's got whistles all over the place. This time. If the Adlers win, they go to four and one. Pick a one-game lead on San Francisco to L.A. Prior to the snap, false start. 78 offense. Penalty's five yards and beat the down. Penalty on Las Vegas. If they lose, however, there will be a three-way tie. Coming up next over on UPN, the Rage 4-0. The Maniacs 2-2. Two two. It's a big game. Memphis trying to get into that 3-2. and two. Memphis looking good. 7 o'clock tonight. The Rage, obviously, got some good players. Maniacs, Drucker, Green Miller, Indian Salam, good, Green good Indian offensive team for the Maniacs. First and 15. They're going to go on the ground. Good idea, smart. Got to midfield before he was driven back. we have got five yards back. Timeout. Forcers. Timeout. Damn. Forcers using a timeout there to stop the clock at 318. Basil took a big chance on that one. He, said, he came busting okay. through. He saw that play starting, shot through the line of scrimmage, backfield. almost made the tackle in the backfield. You got one left, right? Check it here. He's going to just take a shot at it. Smart makes a little move back to the right, and all of a sudden it becomes a chase. So, Paisley. We had a job with the Chicago Board of Trade. Let's go, here you go. Going into that kind of work full time before this opportunity came out. He's only 27 despite that gray hair. Let's go, sometimes it's 318 o'clock. Very distinguished. It's second and 10, let's go. We're going to do a hawk. Hawk, ready, set two. Hawk, cover two, ready? Check that out. Start. Using their timeouts now, Bob really puts the impetus on stopping them on this particular sequence here, second and 10, 318 to go. If they can stop them, they'll have plenty of time, but if, if they should get another first down, they can really turn the clock. You know, it hasn't been a good, good one for so far. Rod Smart, we said, coming into this play, or coming into this series, 130 yards rushing so far. This drive, he's got 22 yards, and, and he's the guy that's going to line. If they stop him here, they may have to pass for the first down as well. We'll see. So he's going to pass here. Blocked at the line of scrimmage, incomplete. Incomplete. Looks like Hubert Thompson got up there, the big nose tackle, and blocked Green. Hubert 6'5, 275. Hey, he's, been, he's been hustling. You see him, number 91, right in the middle of your screen. They get those hands up. You know, you know what impressed me before? Was that one left, play? Left, that, left, there was a penalty that got called yeah, back with the outlaws, but he chased uh, uh, Rod three, Smart Monday. about 30, 40 yards downfield to make the tackle. Third and ten, ten here, Bob. Huge three play. Three and ten. Third three and ten. Clock inside three minutes. Green's gonna pass it. He's in trouble, and he cannot get free as Larry Fitzpatrick. A huge sack for Chicago. But he holds, and the offense will get a chance if. They can handle the punt. Keep in mind, it's live after 25 yards. What an incredible play by this defense. It hasn't been, this defense really hasn't been marked by consistency. But Larry Fitzpatrick, a guy that's uh, playing well at the right defensive end position. Another one coming out of NFL Europe. He actually played for Kreiner with the Scottish Claymores. Luke levels in his back. McCallum will punt. The ball live when it gets to the 30. Should get a return fairly low, but it's well hit. And Levinson goes back to his 13. Duking and jiving. Oh, not a 
good return there by Leverson. Two, excellent coverage. Ben Snell made the tackle, but it was a 40-yard punt and a three-yard return. So, Kevin McDougal, who made a name for himself down the road at Notre Dame, looking for one of those fighting Irish-type heroic finishes. Chicago trailing by four. Yeah, but you, you got to take it now. We're not huddling, okay? Okay, that's what yeah. I'm saying, but hey, I won't give you an A unless we huddle. What are you saying, Steve, if you see the A? 28-year-old Kevin McDougal, who led the Irish to an 11-1 record in 93, and holds the completion record at Notre Dame in his Black first start in the XFL. Black he's got the eight. chance. Well, he's got the wind in his back still. We haven't seen him open it up. He's been tidy, too. Slings went out there. Bailey's go, got it. Go. We're the first half, about the 27. No timeouts left for Chicago. This is all about getting on the line of scrimmage. 48, 48. A gain of nine. But keeping your head about you. No, no, no. Sides. Keep your head about you. Fox, Fox, Fox. 48, Fox. Go a tidy 15 for 19. 137 yards. Out of the shotgun. He's going to go downtown. He can swing it. A lot of coverage there. Flag down. A flag of the play. Junior Lord was the intended receiver, and with a change of the buff and run coverage, although also with the ball in the air. We're going to wait for the call here, but it appeared that the receiver was held, and it looked like interference, and that's what's going to be the Pass call. interference, 29 defense. Wow. Ball will be placed at the spot of the foul. Automatic. Early cover. Tugging on him, we got uh, Jason Kaiser on the inside, but it was Tarver yeah. who was tugging on the shoulder pads. He gets the call, another one of the fastest when you're talking about that long pass. Getting the ball downfield like McDougal can do. 38 yard play on Black the penalty. So they're all the way down to the 35, and they do need a touchdown. But they can leave McDougal, but they're going to go over to Avery. Look out, he's got some field of work. Avery to 25. Avery down to the 18 yard line. And the fans are jumping here at Soldier Field. On the ball. On the ball. On the ball. Man, all of a sudden you got to worry about leaving too much time oh, for Las Vegas. Man, is he scatting around. Get us an extra yard. 48, 48, 48. Let's go. Now Fox, moving Fox, after Fox. the placement. 48, 48. Down at the 19-yard line. 48, 48. 110 left. We're trying to get on the same page. It's taking some time to do that. 106. He's got Avery in the front if he wants it. He can run if he wants to. And incomplete. Oh, McDougal could have run down to choice. Notre Dame there on that play. Bad choice. I, boy, he was throwing it out hold on, hold on, to hold Avery. Up. Avery was covered big time. If I'm McDougal, I'm running on that one. Run down to South Bend. <laughs> he could have got at least inside the 10-yard line if he would have taken it. Let's go. The only break Let's go. there. He got stocks got on the incompletion. Let's go. So only cost him six right. seconds. Yeah, but it also gives that defense right. a chance right. to no, regroup. Only you. And get something from the gun. From the gun. Watch out for them bringing somebody like Gordon that they've been doing all day. Bailey and Yarbrough to the left. Luke Neverson is the receiver to the right. And the shotgun McDougal. Pressure goes over the middle. He's got it. Neverson down to the two. Neverson down to the two. He took a huge hit from early Tarver. McDougal also a huge hit. 668. 668. First and goal for the two. Neverson limping off. at 49 seconds, and now it's the Las Vegas Outlaws who will use a timeout. Where's Leverson? He's going to cross the middle. Goes up high for that one, man. Talk about, he's talking about selling off for the ball, man. He did it on that play. But Google also, we didn't see it in the backfield. Boy, he took a hit as he let that ball fly. It was a sandwich. Right. All right. Going jumbo, jumbo 7G, and get right back on the ball okay. and go jumbo. Six, you know, call it on the ball. Jumbo right, 7 Jumbo right, 7G. Seven seven Wait, jumbo right, no. Jumbo right, 6G. Jumbo left, 6G. Their attitude is uh, as upbeat as one can be, and uh, certainly it's not as high and emotionally as high as you'd be on a 4-0 and roll as, as, for example, some of the teams are. We practice and, and, and work like we're a winning ball club. 
uh, even though we're only four. We yeah. know what's at hand, you know. There's $100,000 that everybody wants a piece of, and we haven't tasted that yet. Well, they haven't tasted $100,000 yet for these enforcers. They are two yards possibly away from that $100,000 bonus. The outlaws, to put it in perspective, have tasted $300,000 winning three games on the Chicago enforcers, many of whom are paying $1,700 apiece for rent in Chicago. The nation's windy city, not cheap to live. Looking Rock for their first eight. taste of not only the money, Rock but perhaps eight. even more importantly, Side. certainly Hunt. victory. Can they do it? Hand off LaShawn Johnson, hit in the backfield. Get on the ball! Got only about a yard, the clock's going to tick here. It is certainly a factor. Davis was trying to say there was a fumble here. That's a delay in my timeout. And the reset referee, it. He's going to say reset the clock. Now the clock ticking. Hurry up. 35 seconds to lose it. Come on, two on him. Benny, Benny. Bring it. Block 88. Block 88. Son, hurry. They run here. It'd be tough to get another playoff, Bob. LaShawn Johnson down. Touchdown. Touchdown. LaShawn Johnson. Diving for the score. On the play before that, which is the same play, LaShawn Johnson got clipped in the Jump hip. Took away his momentum, didn't allow him to jump. Oh, that right time right he had a clean shot from the line of scrimmage. Got himself up in the air and over the line of scrimmage, over the uh, end zone. Important play go, here because they're only up by two. Go, 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 beat him. Go, go. 19 seconds remaining. LaShawn Johnson has the... Oh, he's going to pass it and it is incomplete. McDougal was clutched there as it was a fake handoff. McDougal yeah. turning. Yeah, I'm right. More like riding. Yeah. Timeout with 19 seconds to go. A 15 point comeback for Chicago. Cool. This is a $2,500 play, baby. Sell out. $2,500 play Let's right go. here. Jump on and left his wife at the home in Dallas and lived in his apartment and actually right here at the stadium. Yo, yo, yo. I don't know, living right here at Soldier Field though, he just got an apartment. The feeling of competition of leading a team, the Soldier Field crowd has been unbelievable today. On a cold, raw game day, they've watched the enforcers who haven't scored in almost two full games come back. And you can feel the enthusiasm sway with this crowd too. They really the momentum of this enforcer team. $100,000, yes. Of course, that's going to be nice in the pocket book, help pay a couple of bills. But the feeling for the players of exuberation, boy, you know that, that money was far from their thoughts at that moment. Now, it's far from over here, but the kick, of course, is the ultimate. Vegas only needs a field goal. They have one timeout left, so they might have time for one pass. With a good return, assuming they don't go the distance, and maybe a long field goal shot if nothing else. 19 seconds, remember they call the timeout and save some time before the touchdown play. Otherwise, might not have been any time left. Crossland kicks off with the win in his back. He gets it down to the four. Yo Murphy 
going to get it back. No, he faked the reverse. He's taken down at the 30. It cost him only five seconds somehow. Come on, come on, come on. Everybody else on the right. No, you're going to be backside on the right. Well, you heard it. Yo is going to be Yo Murphy, the new man of town, going to line up on the left hand side. Where's our wide? All the receivers lining up right. Shotgun. Bob, if they can get it, well, they do have a timeout. First down on stop, but they have to get to it. You figure at least the 30, yeah. if not inside the 30, for a shot. With three receivers to the right, they're go. hoping to get the one-on-one -on -one coverage with Go. Now, Mary and Rasmus and Felix, baby, is looking for over the middle. That comes way short, and it's incomplete. Now, what a knock. And Mark Green, he does not have the strongest arm, and he's going into the wind here. Good. Now, eight seconds. Get the ball, you run! Well, the Chicago Enforcers have made a season out of blowing games. Today, perhaps a reversal. On, we did it, where baby. They have back against one of the best teams in the XFL. They're only rushing with three. They've got three deep. Last play for half. Underneath. Three. Time running down oh. three. Time down to two. It's picked up. And that's it. What a game we saw here tonight. Hey, Kevin McDougal, his first start. Odds against him on his own 18. With a minute 59 to go, leading the charge. Johnny, if we help the Chicago win. We saw all day that he had the opportunities and the ability to force, to get some of these drives put together. Taking it downfield, their first score, a nice drive. Taking a long way, eat up a lot of clock. On this, their last scoring drive, it was the interference penalty, which kept them in play. Got it about a 38-yard uh, interception, or, excuse me, interference penalty. What you doing here, Well, Coach Ron Meyer, it's been a long road to get your first victory. How's it feel? Oh, it's hard to explain. It's just, uh, it's been such a tough road, and then to see these guys fight back like this, it's a great tribute to them, and it was just a, a great ball game. It's, what the XFL is all about right down to the last minute. What about these Chicago fans? They came out today in the cold weather, showed some support for you guys. What would you like to say to the fans? Oh, we love you. Look at them. They're, they're great. They are great. Thank you, Chicago. Coach, does this take some pressure off your team now? Oh, yeah. You know, whenever you win, everything's beautiful, you know. And everything you do as far as positive reinforcement is there. And it's a great, great reward for the team. All right, thanks, Cody. Corey Ivey enjoying it with the fans, and Rod Meyer feeling triumphant. Let's go down to Lee Rehrman for more. Coach, must be really discouraging to have such a good lead, and all of a sudden things turn away from you, and it stinks for you. Well, they made some good plays, and, and uh, you know, that's a good football team. McDougal good, did a good job. I think you got to give him credit. Their team played very hard, and they made some plays. For the threw the ball up a few times, and they, they came up with some great plays. What are you going to say? Well, your defense has been a wall all season. It seems like a little, few cracks there in the second half a little bit. You discouraged? No, when the shit should I be discouraged? I mean, we, we, they made some plays. They gave, give them some credit. That's a good football team. Chicago has made some plays all year, but never the big play when they needed, and they certainly got that today. John Avery, how's it feel? Feels great. I mean, I'm so proud of my guys. They didn't give up. We kept fighting, and we came through. You guys look like a completely different team in the second half. What'd you say in the locker room? Hey, we just knew. I mean, you, you get tired of losing. In fact, you know, we've been in every game we played against. We made sure today we're not going to be one of them days we have nightmares about, and that's what happened. You guys were just up in the stands with some of the fans. What was that like? Oh, they deserve it. I mean, I hear in the rain. We had 15, 20,000 people out here in the rain. It's cold. It's Chicago. You got to love it. Is this a new beginning for this team? Absolutely. I mean, I think today we saw all the weapons that we have in receiver, running back. It's good for us to switch it up and keep the defense on their toes. That's what we did. No rain today, but it was as cold and raw as you could expect with the wind coming off Lake Michigan. And now the wind's certainly behind the Chicago sales. Amazing. 
what 60 minutes of football can do for you. All of a sudden, their first win of the year, and the way the East is going with Orlando running away with it. Well, now Chicago, thanks to that LaShawn Johnson TD, is just, believe it or not, a game out of second place at right. the midpoint of the season. Well, this is something that a team can feel and take with them into the next week. I know that sounds cliche, but boy, just when you convince yourself and prove yourself that you can put the drives together, not just win a game, but you can put the drives together and score points, you know that you can do it. You can feel good about yourself. More from Soldier Field in a moment. Chicago dramatically winning 15-13. to 13. 